Dr. O. Uh, today we're going to show you how to change the oil in your 2012 Dodge Caravan RT. Uh, this van is equipped with a 3.6 liter VVT. Uh, so we're going to begin just by uh, uh, getting your car, bring it over, popping the hood. Uh, the engine on this one's already warmed up. Uh, so before we begin, we just do a couple quick under hood inspections. Um, First thing you can start with is just checking the uh, levels of, of some other fluids under your hood, uh, like the power steering, make sure that's between the minimum and maximum mark. Uh, you can look at your brake fluid, uh, make sure that's between the minimum and maximum mark on the uh, side of the container there, you'll see that. Uh, if you have any questions on that, just, just refer to your owner's manual, that should all be in there. And same thing with the engine coolant. Uh, just have, have a look in there, uh, it's kind of hard to see on the video, but uh, just make sure the coolant's up between the, the min and max mark. Um, Good time to just go through and, and top off your uh, top off your washer fluid while you're under the hood. Uh, you have some of that laying around, um, so we'll go ahead and do that right now. So now that that's full, uh, we kind of look at some of the other fluids there. Um, you gotta pay attention to some other stuff. Uh, you know, you can look at the battery cables, make sure they're tight, not growing like a like a chia pet or anything there. And then the next thing to do would be is to uh, take a look at the air filter and uh, and remove the oil filter on this model. We're gonna begin just uh, to kind of clarify things. We're just gonna pop this upper engine cover off. This thing just snaps on there. Got four little pegs that sits on the intake manifold. Just pop that off and set that to the side to, to provide a little bit of room here to work. Uh, after that, we're gonna take a, take a small screwdriver Let's loosen up this air duct on the uh, intake manifold. Let's get this out of the way. After you do that, remove this breather hose off the air filter housing. Unclamp the clamps that hold that on. Huh? Pretty straightforward. Looks like all of them. Air filter housing up. Slight twist. Just go ahead and just set that right out of your way. Now's a good time to take and pull your air filter up. Look at the dirty side of it. Give that a give that an inspection. Um, flip down through the pleat, see how dirty it is. I know some guys will uh, pull them up and see if they can see any light shining through them. You know, in this case, you can. So uh, this filter doesn't look too bad. We're going to keep using it for the next few services. So the next thing to do would be to Loosen up your oil filter here. Um, on this engine, uh, your oil filter is, is right here under that cover. Um, there's a special tool they have to remove it. Um, you can use a 15 16 socket, an extension and a ratchet. Um, just go ahead and uh, crack that loose. Now this is just plastic, so don't, uh, don't get too carried away with it. Go ahead and crack that loose. Now this is where you can make a mess. Um, so just go ahead and kind of pull that up. If it's dripping, just go ahead and let it drip off. If not, just pick it up, bring it over, and uh, just set that to the side for right now. I'm just going to leave that set to the side. All right, um, you can see the oil filter housing is, is, is drained down, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and leave that open. And we're going to go underneath the vehicle now and uh, drain the oil. Now from underneath the vehicle, you're going to want to locate the oil pan drain plug. Um, you can see kind of where it is in reference to the exhaust here uh, and the control arm and stuff. So it should be easy for you to, uh, to locate. Uh, make sure you have a, a, a pan, a catch pan, uh, something underneath it to catch your oil. Use a 13 millimeter socket, crack the drain plug loose. Uh, now the oil is going to come out at a, at a pretty good rate, so especially if the engine's warm. Uh, so make sure you're ready and prepared for that. Now go ahead and let the engine oil drain for a while. Um, let it drain down until it just becomes a, just a steady drip. Uh, it takes a few minutes. Now as your engine oil drains, it's a good time to go through and uh, have a check of your tire pressures. Uh, have a look at the tires. If you got the car jacked up where you can wiggle the front end, you know, go ahead and do that. Check for loose parts, loose ball joints, tie rod ends. Uh, it's pretty simple. You know, grab your tire, uh, give it a wiggle. Um, if something's loose, you'll feel it. Uh, like I say, if you have uh, access to some air, go through and just check your tires. Uh, use a good gauge, 
see where the tires are at. This one's at 32 and a half. Car calls for 36. So we're going to go ahead and adjust those pressures on all four tires when we get your oil drains. Now that your oil's done draining, just go ahead and reinstall your drain plug. Now don't overdo this. It has to be snug, but you don't have to kill it. Put your 13 millimeter back on there. Just go ahead and snug it up. Um, you don't want to wipe the oil drips off here. And while you're under the car, it's a good idea to have, just have a look around, see if there's any, you know, any leaks, anything you notice that, uh, you know, might be an area of concern. Um, we can be real specific, uh, but we're not going to be. <laughs> so, um, so that's that. Uh, let's go back up to the top side, put the filter in, and finish filling it up with oil. Now that you're back up top, we're going to take the oil filter we removed in a previous step, and we're going to go ahead and replace that. Uh, so this oil filter snaps out of the housing. Pay attention which way it comes out. You can see the little fingers on here that engage down inside the oil filter housing. Uh, so go ahead and take that out. You also notice there's a there's an O-ring around this cap. So take your screwdriver that you used to get the air filter off and uh, just pull that uh, O-ring off. Set that to the side. Your new oil and oil filter should uh, should come with a new filter, uh, new O-ring. We're going to go ahead and open that up filter to the side and there's a new o-ring in the box we can get to it all right so begin to stick your o-ring you're going to slide it right over your cap there pull it down make sure it's in the groove uh, they snap in relatively easily um, take your new oil filter you'll hear it click right into the cap it snaps in simple as that um, Wipe some of the residue off there. Um, next thing to do would be uh, just take a little bit of clean motor oil, lubricate the O-ring there. Uh, we're gonna do that. You can just get a little bit on your finger, just rub it on the O-ring. Uh, it's gonna help it go in a little easier. Uh, take your filter, line it up on the housing. Go ahead and spin it down as far as you can by hand. That way you know you have it started straight. You should be able to go the majority of the way, at least till you hit the O-ring. Take your socket and ratchet that you used to remove it. And go ahead and finish bringing it down. So, and like I say, this, this is plastic, so you get to where it snugs up, just give it a little bit. That's all you need. Uh, there is a torque spec on there of 25 Newton meters if you want to bust out the torque wrench and, uh, and go about it that way. Uh, but just use, uh, use your mind, not your muscle. At this point, go ahead and reinstall your air filter housing that you previously removed. Um, line it up on the intake, wiggle that on. There's a notch back in there. You'll see it right on the very top that has to uh, has to line up uh, right up there. So go ahead and reinstall that on there. I'm going to tighten the clamp back down. Okay, once your clamp's tightened, we're going to reinstall the housing. And you'll see on the back of this filter housing, you've got three notches. Uh, they've got to go in the corresponding holes on the back side of the air filter first. We're going to go in at a, at a slight angle and then push it down. So now that those three notches are engaged, you push it down and reinstall your clamp. There's three of those. And then last, your breather housing hose. Right, go ahead and put that on. And then, uh, most importantly, we're gonna fill it back up with oil. Uh, this particular engine uh, calls for six quarts of 5W30. Uh, so we use a mobile product here at the shop. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. We already got some poured. Um, make sure you use a funnel, have some rags handy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just dump in six quarts of oil. We're gonna start it up, let it run until the oil light goes out, which should be just a, just a few seconds. And then we're gonna check the oil level. Now that the oil is drained out of all your containers, uh, go ahead and uh, Reinstall the oil cap. Make sure that's on there correctly. Um, at this point, we can uh, reinstall the, the top engine cover. Uh, like I say, we just moved that off for uh, for clarity. Uh, it goes on pretty easily. Right, snaps back on those bags. Now we're going to go inside the car. We're going to start it up. Make sure the oil light goes out. Uh, let it sit a few minutes. Come out and check the oil level. Now that we're inside the vehicle, 
Go ahead and use your menu options and display the oil pressure and then start the vehicle. You should immediately see an increase in oil pressure. Once that's happened, let the vehicle run for a few seconds, then go ahead and shut it off. Now that we've started the vehicle, make sure we had oil pressure. It's a good idea to come out and just have a look at the oil filter housing, make sure it's not leaking oil. Um, take another look underneath, make sure your drain plug is dry. And then uh, most important is just go ahead and check the oil level. Uh, we're gonna do that, just, just remove the dipstick, just go ahead and wipe it off, make sure it's clean. I'm gonna reinsert it. Pull it back out and check it. We're gonna wanna make sure our oil is in the safe zone on the dipstick. Uh, in this case, it's down by the S on the safe. Uh, we're going to add just a, just a little bit more oil to, to get it up to the, to the full mark. It's as simple as that. Uh, some of these vehicles have oil life monitors in them that will need to be reset. Uh, you can go ahead and consult your owner's manual for that. Uh, I believe on these cars, you just turn the key to the run position, pump the gas pedal three times, and it should reset your oil change light. Uh, again, like I say, just go ahead and refer to your owner's manual if your change oil soon lights. That's all there is to it.